Hi, today we are going to practice choosing subtraction pictures with numbers up to five. So our first question says, which picture shows three minus two equals one? So I'm going to use this information here to be a clue, kind of like a treasure hunt. So what this is going to tell me is, the three tells me how many total chairs I should have. The minus two tells me how many I should cross off. And the one tells me how many should be left. Okay, so we look at our pictures. Both pictures have three chairs. Okay, next, let's look at the minus two. Which picture has two of them crossed out, meaning they ta they've taken two of the chairs away? And then as a result, there's only one chair left. It's this one. I have three chairs. I take away two, and I only have one left. We're going to use that to help us with every one of these problems. Next, we have five minus three equals two. So the five tells us how many we start with. The minus three tells us how many we're taking away. And the two tells us how many are left. So both pictures have five dice, but let's go to our next clue. Which picture shows three of them crossed out? The one on the left or the one on the right? It's the one on the left. And I can also see that there are only two dice left, which is what I want. Next, which, which picture shows three minus two equals one. So I have three total roses and I'm going to take away two and then I should only have one left. Both pictures have three roses, but which picture has two crossed out? Which picture is taking away two roses? Leaving only one left. It is the one on the left. Good job. Next one, which picture shows five minus four equals one? Again, we're starting out with five total. We want to take away or cross out four of them, so we only have one left. Which picture shows that? Both pictures have five tigers. But which picture takes away four? Which picture crosses out four of those tigers, leaving only one of them not crossed out? Good job, it's the one on the left. Next, which picture shows four minus one equals three? Okay, I want you to try this one on your own. Remember, four total chairs, we take away one or cross out one, so there are three chairs left that are not crossed out. It's this one. I have four chairs, one is crossed out, and I have these three left over. Next, which picture shows five minus one equals four? Both sets of pictures have five bowls, but which picture only has one crossed out and the other four are left alone? Good job, it's this one. Let's try some more. Which picture shows three minus two equals one? Which picture shows a total of three ants with two of them crossed out, meaning they're taken away, with only one ant left that's not crossed out. Good job, it's this guy over here. Next, which picture shows three minus two equals one? Three total bananas minus two of them, we're crossing out two of them, so we have one banana left. 
This one, great. Next, which picture shows four minus three equals one? Which picture shows four total party hats with three of them crossed out or taken away, leaving only one party hat left that's not crossed off? Good job, it's this one. All right, let's try one more. Which picture shows five minus two equals three? And I know you can do this one. Five total pictures of lamps. How many do we have crossed out? Two, meaning three are left not crossed out. Which picture is it? It's this one. Good job, you did a great job with this activity.